they are really good. we get together we just all act so silly and we always just have a great time and most of the time that we spend together is in practice and we're working out and practicing for something and I think when we get here we just get to let loose and have a good time it's very important for all of us to be friends on this trip because it shows in everything that we do that we're really good friends and that we all enjoy being with each other it's important for all of us to have a good time when we go somewhere. But this time we called every girl for a photo shoot. She comes out for makeup and instead of making the makeup, she's got a whole lunch of water. <laughs> the only person we're waiting for is our Christmas baton or Tony Bill. They've had a little fun. Well, they've had a lot of fun this year, and me included. So this has been a wonderful trip. We have the chance to play something that um, breaks the tension takes their mind off the pressure, and everybody, I, I want everybody to have fun, and if it wasn't fun, you know, why do it? Pitchers are the all-terrain pitchers. <laughs> um, ever since I was a little girl, my parents used to always tell me that I would stand on the couch during cowboy games and shake my blue pom-poms everywhere, so they knew that this was inevitable someday that I would try out. And I'm very happy to be here. I know I'm very fortunate to be here. Okay, never mind. Over here. Oh. I'm trying. I do see the little girl in Brooke, and you, I do also still see the excitement in Brooke with our organization. She's in her third year, and sometimes people, you know, their, uh, their energy enthusiasm starts to fizzle a little bit here, but not with Brooke. And Brooke walks and talks and breathes that every day, that this is a very special time in her life, and I appreciate that as the director. Okay, girl, there you go, really pretty smile. Good, we're doing a bunch of them here, Brooke. There you go, girl. That's gorgeous. Okay, here we go, Brooke. Oh, this is kind of like getting spoiled, yes. having somebody do your makeup every day. Um, I, I like it, though, because it looks real pretty. And it's, it's similar to what I wear as far as, like, the brown colors, but it's a lot of fun having somebody else do it. This is the best experience of my life, and the thing that I will take away from it is about four scrapbooks full of pictures and items that I've picked up all, all the time that I've been a cheerleader. Also, through being a cheerleader, I've gained um, more self-esteem, more self-confidence in myself. I believe in myself more now. I think what I've gained in this organization will help me tremendously. Uh, Brooke is, I don't want, I'm not saying she's old, but she's mature. And she's a hard worker. She's beautiful, gorgeous hair. But she's very smart. Brooke's very intelligent. And uh, she knows how to work it. And she'll listen to you and she'll do what you ask her to do. When I was a rookie taking pictures, it was, I was very nervous and I was always stiff and Kelly was like, loosen up, loosen up, and I, I'd still be stiff, I wouldn't know what to do. After three years, you kind of, <laughs> you get real used to having a camera around and I feel a little bit more comfortable. Now I'm to the point where I'm not so nervous about being in front of the camera, I can play with it a little bit more. Well, I can't She's get driving so me crazy. She's she driving red and me absolutely she is. crazy. He loves me. <laughs> Some girls are only here for maybe a year, some are here for a couple years. And if I can have an influence on a girl to where she can leave the organization and know that she's learned something and know that she's gained something from the experience, then that makes me feel better too.
Sunrise here is 5.30. We started in our room with makeup either at 4 or 5 a.m. <laughs> We'd go out in two separate vehicles. We're off again. We would shoot three or four morning settings. We'd get back for lunch. Here's Shay and Regina, and <laughs> um, not all of us eat like this. Only, only the, the skinny ones. <laughs> and everybody would take a siesta. I, I, I get this privilege every day. I'm not as young as the girls are. Then we'd take back out in the afternoon and do some more shots from 3 until 7, which was the sunset. And we'd call it a day photography-wise. That's a wrap, lady. That's a wrap, lady. <laughs> a typical day on this trip is a long day, and it's absolutely it's worth it. Priya Jernigan is warm. She's sincere. She's genuine. She, there's, there's nothing pretentious about Priya. You know, what, what you see is what you get with Priya.